Hello, I'm Eric Owens, President and CEO of E2Gold. I'm here today to talk about our recently released assay results from our drill program. The current drill program, as you know, is a step out program to try and test uh, better test or determine or help us uh, evaluate the potential footprint of the McKinnon zone, as you can see here, uh, at, located at the surface here in purple here. There are pr two principal targets that we've been testing here. One is a shallow step out, trying to aim for uh, testing downward on potential of some of the higher grade zones from the Falcon Bridge drilling days. And then we had a series of 12 holes at depth trying to see if we can better get a handle on, the, on that footprint. We have completed 8,200 meters of that program, uh, some 18 holes so far. We are still drilling today uh, on that. We still have two drill holes uh, to complete, uh, the better part of two drill holes. Uh, and we're really pleased with the results of this program. So here we have a, an updated longitudinal section showing the McKinnon zone, also in per purple like the previous slide. Uh, the little black dots you see in the McKinnon zone is, are the Pierce points for the Falcon Bridge data, the 40-year-old Falcon Bridge data. And of course, we note that the lower limit of those holes are pretty much uh, the limit of our knowledge. Uh, this is the results of, or this is the, at least the locations, the Pierce points of, of the holes that we've completed in green and red, green for the shallow targets, red for the deep targets. Uh, the two black holes are still the two holes that are, we remain to, have remained to drill. Uh, and so we are, uh, we are making progress, of course. Um, principally, we are pleased with the results. We have certainly expanded our knowledge of the McKinnon zone. We have hit the McKinnon zone in every one of these holes. Uh, we've hit the same geology, the same mineralogy, uh, the same style of deformation and alteration in all of these holes. And uh, so that's a, a good start for us. Uh, the, the widths are roughly the same as we see up on surface and uh, the same sort of uh, pulled apart and, and uh, deformed quartz veins as well, along with the disseminated type of pyrite and, and blebby pyrite as we see in, in the shallow levels. Uh, as you can see from the red dots, the five holes we've, uh, we've announced uh, in this press release uh, are shown the, from west to east, number 27, 29, hole number 22, and then further to the east, 23 and 28. Uh, we've had some good results in some of these holes, up to 14 grams per ton, as we can see from hole number 28, well below the, the McKinnon zone, uh, over a meter. Uh, likewise, way over on the west, uh, three grams per ton over a meter. We've hit a few others in, uh, in these uh, holes, uh, and we are certainly seeing broad anomalous gold halos around these things, up to 30 meters or so in some cases, um, and, and more uh, perhaps in some cases. The point is, is we, we've hit this zone in all the holes. We are certainly showing that the McKinnon zone itself exists at depth, and it's a matter of time. These are very early days that we're just beginning on this zone, and we are gleaning much new information from this data. We have uh, new alteration patterns we're seeing in some of, the, some of these areas. And when we combine it with all the other work we're doing and that we're planning to work do, uh, we can, we're starting to layer this information and start to try and correlate with our geophysical information, downhole geophysical information, surface geophysical information. Uh, and we've got a lot of new uh, tools for us to use to advance our drill targeting methodologies. So we're pretty pleased with these results and we look forward to continuing with these results. And remember, we still have two drill holes to, to complete on this, more assays pending uh, coming, to, uh, coming to us in the future. Thank you, and uh, we'll see you next time.